Right, hi microbytes, my name is Jonathan, I am the children's librarian here at the Ashburnham Public Library um, and today we are going to be coding, uh, creating some code uh, for the micro uh, microbit gamepad, the microbit gamepad um, by DF Robot um, and unfortunately I can't show you on the screen what this looks like um, but it is uh, it has a four button four button D pad it has an X and a Y and two shoulder buttons A and B um, so what we're going to do is going to head over to uh, makecode.microbit.org we're going to start a new project we're going to call our project gamepad okay and in this one uh, we'll get rid of the forever block don't need that um, we need an extra extension um, so if you pop down to extensions there um, we need an extension for the gamepad but unfortunately they don't have a, it's not searchable and here we have to put in a URL link um, I'll put this in the description below um, but if you head over to wiki.dfrobot.com and search for the microbit gamepad um, you'll find the, the link there so if you copy this uh, link here and then paste it into the URL search there we go uh, and here it is here so it's called gamepad and add that extension into your list of drawers here it is here Okay, so the first thing we need to do is on start, we need to set a radio group. So I'll grab that out there and put that in nice and simple. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to set it up um, to send signals for all of, uh, say, eight buttons. All eight buttons. Um, we may not use all eight buttons, but at least they'll be set up ready to go if we need to do that later on with our robot, our McQueen, uh, Micro McQueen robot. We can do that later on. Uh, so we will grab out six, um, six of these, but we will also, for the shoulder buttons, uh, unfortunately it doesn't work for the shoulder buttons. Shoulder buttons actually relate directly to the A and B button on the micro bit itself. So we'll get that from the input draw later on. So we need, uh, we'll grab this out, and we can just copy and paste. And we need four for the directions. Two, three, four. Um, but we also need another four, um, because what happens is you need it to say, do something when, when a button is pressed, but you also need it to stop that function um, when it's released. So that's why we'll have eight of those. And then you need the X and Y, so we'll grab those as well. Oh, I didn't really need to do that, but that's alright. Go, and that'll be X. as well and as I said the shoulder buttons are actually under the input tray because they they're not separate they're actually related directly to the AMB buttons on the micro bit itself um, the link directly to that so you can do that uh, they don't need a release function uh, well not that they don't need one but they don't have that option so we can't do that Right, so we'll change it to all the um, appropriate buttons. So we're going to start with direction. So we're going to go in a clockwise direction, starting with up. It's going to be up, and then right. Oops, right, and then down. Left. 
and then on these ones again so it'll be up and then in this case it's going to be released up is released right is released down is least and left is released okay so we've got up right down and left is pressed on this side and released on this side and we need our X button is pressed, X button is released, and Y button is pressed, and Y button is released. So that is all of our buttons. And right now we need to fill it in. So what we wanted to do is we actually want to, it's, it's a pretty simple setup really, we're just telling it to send different radio signals because what's going to happen is you're going to really decode those radio signals at the other end so the, the controller function is actually really super simple it's, it's just sending separate radio signals um, on each button so we just need the radio and we want send radio send number that's all we need, and we need one of those in each. Right, when these are pressed, we're going to start this at 1, 2, 3, 4. If you do it in order, you'll remember that for when you come back to the, um, the robot itself. On release, what we want it to do is send the all the same signal, because later on in a um, one of our future videos, um, it will be telling it to stop moving. So all of uh, oops, sorry. Hang on. Um, so all of these are actually going to be the same number. It's all going to be zero because I'm going to say zero on the robot I'm going to tell it that zero is stop all motors and then that way it doesn't matter which button you're releasing it stops the motors from doing whatever it was that they're doing so they can all be zero okay so we've got one two three four and we'll have five and six Okay, so we're going to have 5 and 6. Now, on these two, these are technically can be attached to different elements because we've got all the different functions the motor can possibly do. So these two can be different things. It could be lights, it could be sounds, things like that. Um, so we'll attach separate numbers to the release function because we need it to be related to whatever the X is attached to. So we'll make this actually what I might do actually is make that six and a seven and a eight and this nine and this is ten. Okay. Right. So that is uh, pretty much the controller setup. Um, so if you click on the link uh, that will pop up in a moment, uh, that will take you on to the next video, which will be setting up the robot to carry out the tasks given by the radio signal from the from the gamepad itself. All right, I'll see you on the flip side.